At 155 years old, Shaw University in downtown Raleigh is the first and oldest historically black university in the South. Shaw's rich legacy as a Baptist institution began just after the end of the Civil War in 1865. Uh, Henry Martin Tupper was a former uh, Civil War chaplain who came down to establish the university. One of the things that we, thought, that we know about him is that he made a promise to God that if he survived, he would spend the rest of his life educating free men. And so he did. Historians say back then, most Southern whites did not appreciate Tupper's vision in educating freed black slaves. So he relied on financial support from Northern allies. One major benefactor was Elijah Shaw, a wealthy textile merchant donating $5,000. The university named in his honor. Educators say Shaw's first students also contributed money and even helped build its first classroom, a log cabin. By 1865, approximately 350 students enrolled. Today, that number has more than tripled. Black people were helping themselves to be educated. It wasn't just sitting back passively and allowing the white benefactor rescuer to come in. Financial support and growth led to the creation of a law school, pharmacy school, and Leonard School of Medicine, the first four-year curriculum medical school in the nation. Tupper and his wife, Sarah, wanted women and men to be educated together. SD Hall became the first building in the country to house and educate black women. It's still standing today. Through it all, ooh, I've learned to trust in Jesus, and I've learned to trust in God. Grammy award-winning gospel singer Shirley Caesar is one of the most successful women to come out of Shaw. Caesar is a 1984 Shaw graduate with a degree in business. Today, millennials and Generation Z know her from her old school song remixed into this now classic Thanksgiving anthem. I got beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, ranch, raw, raw. But it was more than 30 years ago. Caesar, who was in her mid 40s at the time, says she put college on hold after high school to financially take care of her family as her music career skyrocketed. Shaw gave her a full scholarship. I was privileged to be able to go back to school, stayed there until I got my degree, and was able to even give back financially. According to the United Negro College Fund, North Carolina historically black colleges and universities generate $1.7 billion in total economic impact. And a North Carolina HBCU graduate working full time over the course of their career can expect to earn $1 million in extra income, which is why HBCUs depend on alumni giving during homecoming. big family reunion. It is the best way to put it. It is a family reunion. In September 2020, Shaw University's drumline gave Kamala Harris, then vice presidential nominee and fellow HBCU graduate, a homecoming style welcome. Watching her clap and dance and and really get into it was, was really pretty cool to watch. Vice President Kamala Harris's visit was history making for Shaw University, but Ella Baker is the history making legend here on campus. She launched the Civil Rights Group Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. It was instrumental in the fight for civil rights, even catching the attention of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who spoke here in the 1960s. Tim Pulliam, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.